How to graduate from the object designer. Hey, I'm Eric. And I know this is a very weird video to make where I'm, I'm telling you how to stop using our product. Uh, but it's kind of in the design. Uh, we have, this is the simple object designer at, and at some point, what you want to do might not be simple anymore, and it might be outside the scope of the object designer. And for us, it has been very, very important that you're not, you're not stuck. You don't have to start over, but there is a path forward, uh, so you can preserve everything you have made with the object designer, and you know, go on to new adventures in writing code or having somebody write the code or what what it is um so let me show you how that works um here is the the setup page and we have a function here called download source and what it's actually doing is a slight variation on what you what's happening when you're publishing so i hit this and it passes so fast uh, but what ha happened is that now it it would write all the code but instead of building an app file and do all the normal stuff, it it downloaded a zip file. And this zip file contains a complete VS Code project. So I can open that. It, of course, it opens on a different screen. Um, and I will, and this is very, very tiny text, but I'll, uh, I'll download this uh, if I'm able to find a place to download it. There we go. So now it's downloaded. So what I can do now is grab Visual Studio Code and I'll update this one later. And I will simply open that folder that I just unzipped the zip file to. Um, and that's what we have here. Let me just make it bigger, bigger, bigger. Um, and, and remember, inside the simple object design, we have to download symbols. We also have to do this here. VS Code is way faster than Business Central is to do that task, but we still have to do it. So I select download symbols in here. Um, and I log in here. It's slightly different way. Um, and symbols are downloaded in a moment. This is way faster than it is inside Business Central. Um, and while that is downloaded, we can actually see here that there's a folder called source. And inside that you can see symbols has been downloaded. What we can try to do here is ask this to build uh, the app for us, just so we can verify. And that was fast. The app is created, so we're good. What we can see in here is that we can see a, a set of subfolders, and um, like there's a table extension thing, and we can see there's a file called customer table extension, and here's a field that is has been added to the customer table. Uh, we can see page extensions, so here are fields that has been placed on the the customer this bunch of stuff that has been placed on a customer card there's a new field there's an existing field there's fact boxes and there's menus from uh, in the navigation um you see there's a code unit that will handle uh, field transfers uh there's all the f the f the features that we have added each feature is setting its own subfolder so if we look at the pet table for instance you can see that there's a pet table. Uh, all the code that has been written. There's a list for that. Uh, there's a, the pet card. Uh, and there's the API that has been created. Um, so everything is in here, and and it looks just like you know a regular developer uh, or an extraordinary developer created this. Anyway, it, it looks like the real thing because it is the real thing. Uh, and you can take this, make your development changes. Remember to go in and you know update the version number before you can deploy to production. And there's a bunch of rules. And I have 
hundreds of videos on the YouTube channel describing how to work in this environment uh, and also how you know to get started. But the important part, the important message here is that you are not stuck just because you are graduating from the simple object designer to a more advanced something. Uh, you don't have to leave a comma behind everything that you have created with the object designer. You can take that and it, it's in here and you can just work on it. You can add new field in here and so on. If you make changes in here, you cannot get them back into the simple object designer. That's not how it works, unfortunately. Um, so, but, but, so it's a one way. It, it, you are graduating from the object designer and no hard feelings from, from our perspective is we we love people getting learning new stuff and and you know getting smarter every day and um, that's awesome. So that's how you uh, you graduate from the object designer. And uh, if you do, I hope to see you in the AL development environment community and and check out the channel for all the awesome videos. Bye.